This video will demonstrate the proper technique for obtaining a sample using the sample with the iLab. The first step will be to turn the iLab on using the center button and then press the menu button and scroll and select the methods folder. We'll then scroll down to the method that we want to run, which in this case is sample ABS. We'll then press the center button to select the method and press the center button once more to start the method. The first step in the method is to scan a blank. Using the samplet, we'll dip the tip of the samplet into the blank, depress the bulb approximately three quarters of the way, and slowly allow the bulb to expand and draw the blank into the chamber. What we want to do is go slow so we don't form bubbles in the chamber. We can look in the chamber and verify no bubbles are formed, and then attach the samplet to the top of the iLab. We'll then press the center button to start the method and scan the blank. Once the blank has been scanned, we'll eject the samplet from top of the iLab and we'll expel the sample, the blank, into a waste pail. We'll then draw the sample into the samplet and expel that into the waste pail to, to properly flush the samplet. We'll then redraw the sample into the samplet, again using the technique of three quarters of a bulb press and slowly allowing the sample to draw into the samplet. We can then look in the chamber and verify that no bubble has formed in the, in the chamber. We can then attach the samplet to the top of the iLab, press the center button to scan the sample, and the method will display a spectrum of the sample. We'll then press the center button. The method will then display an absorbance spectrum of the sample. Press the center button. It will then report the maximum absorbance in, of the sample. I'm pressing the center button once again, the method will then display the wavelength where the maximum absorbance was observed. We can then press the center button once more. That will end the method, and that's as easy as it is to scan a sample with the iLab.